Hello children, welcome back to my class. I, Kiran Thakur, have come back with a new video for you all. Children, today I have come up with chapter number 8, The Song of the Train. Children, this story brings out the way a child enjoys a new experience and learns from her first train journey. So let us move and enjoy this story together. The train wishes. There was a slight jerk and the train started. First it moved slowly. Soon it went faster and faster. Minnie looked out of the window. It was a sunny day. You can see in the picture children, it was a sunny afternoon. Yes? A man was working in the fields. A woman was drawing water from a well. Some children were playing. They looked at the train and waved. They looked at the train you can see in the picture and they all are waving their hands. Yes? Even the trees waved their branches. The trees are running so fast, said Minnie. No, Minnie, laughed her mother. The trees are not running. The train is moving and we are moving with it. Your tickets, please, said a man in uniform. Who is this man? whispered Minnie. He is the ticket examiner, replied Minnie's father. He wants to see our tickets. Minnie's mother gave their tickets to the men. He looked at them. Thank you, he said and gave the tickets back to her. Minnie looked out of the window. It was beautiful outside. The sun was setting. It looked like a giant orange. Herds of cattle were walking across the field. Flocks of birds were flying in the sky. Then the sun went behind a hill. Soon it began to grow dark. Lights came on. You can see children in the picture. Yes, lights came on in the train. Is it? Dinner coupons, said a man. Minnie's mother bought three coupons. You can see in the picture, a man is standing there to sell dinner coupons. Okay, and Minnie's mother, she bought three coupons. Then train was slowing down. Then the train stopped. Bright light came in through the window. It's an important station, said Minnie's father. The train will stop here for some time. The platform was full of people. Potters were carrying boxes on their head and soldiers. Some people were selling things. Everyone is in a hurry. You can see in the picture children, people, everyone, those who are there in the station, they all are in hurry. Yes? Who thought this? Minnie. The train started again and left 
the station behind. Then the food came in three packets. Do you remember Minnie's mother? She bought three coupons. Yes, from the man who came for selling dinner coupon, isn't it? Now the same person has come here to give them food with three packets. After she ate, Minnie asked, Now where do I sleep? We have three birds, explained Minnie's father. An upper berth, a middle berth and a lower berth. Minnie's father lifted her and put her in the middle berth. He covered Minnie. You can see in the picture. Minnie's father then covered her with a blanket. Soon, he switched off the lights and turned on the night light. The train speed through. You can see in the picture children. Yes. Okay, let me show you. You can see in the picture. Speed through the night, okay? The train speed through the night. Minnie was listening to the sound of the train. She thought it's the song of the train. It's singing for me. Means the train was singing for whom? For Minnie. Soon she was fast asleep. So children, here we have finished our story. What did we see in the story children? We saw that Minnie is fascinated with the changing scenes outside the window while the train is moving and when it halts at a station. She is innocent. Like any child, she makes the mistake of thinking that the trees were running past the train. She is an imaginative child, comparing the setting sun to a giant orange and the rhythm, rhythm beat of the speeding train to music. She is curious to know the roles of the ticket collector and the man selling dinner coupons. She has warm and caring parents. Her mother answers her questions patiently and her father makes her comfortable and secure on the middle berth. So children, this is what all about the story. Here we have finished our story children. We will meet again in our next video. Till then, thank you and take care.